Good morning, friends. It is currently 10 a.m. on July 24th, and that means it is officially the start of the Booktubeathon. Technically, the Booktubeathon started at midnight tonight, but I was having some struggles last night. Starting off the Booktubeathon with a migraine is no fun, but I am currently reading Eliza and Her Monsters, and I'm liking it so far, and I'm like 10 chapters in right now, I think. But, like I said, I have a migraine, and a really bad one at that, so I think I really just need to go to sleep. But yeah, it was a lot, and I just really needed to go to sleep, so I did that last night, which is good. But now, I'm awake, my migraine is gone, and I'm ready for a full day of reading. My booktubeathon TBR is up on my channel, so if you want to go and watch that, I'll leave it linked on the screen, so you can know what books I'm planning on reading this week. But I've also decided that I want to vlog every day, so hopefully you guys will be getting a vlog every single day this week, if I can stick with it, if I have the time to edit edit and the energy to do all of that, but I really want to, so we're gonna try it out. You guys also really seemed to like my 24-hour readathon vlog, which I really liked making too, and now it's just motivating me to vlog more. So today you're just gonna spend the day with me as I attempt to read as much as I possibly can. I'm also gonna be trying to do the video challenge for today, which is Jessie's like book monster challenge. I saw the video already and it seems like a lot of fun, so hopefully later in the day I'm going to attempt that and include it in this vlog. Also, you might be able to tell on camera I don't know how well you can tell. I have a sunburn on my cheeks and on my nose, so if my skin is like red and it starts peeling, I apologize, but I don't know why I decided to go outside and go to the beach and not wear sunscreen. It was foggy and then the weather changed and it lied to me, so I'm still mad about it. Whoa! <laughs> She's trying to come into my room. <laughs> Bo, you got something to say? You want to come in? Oh, hello! <laughs> and you're gonna go and hide under my bed. All right then. But anyway, now I'm gonna have to try and figure out how to get my cat out from under my bed, and then I'm probably just gonna continue reading Eliza and her monsters, but I will update you guys when I have read some more and if I do anything else of interest today. So I'll see you then. So it is a couple of hours later, and I am still currently making my way through Eliza and her monsters. I am on chapter 20 right now. I wasn't reading the entire time I had to eat breakfast, and then I was editing some of my footage, so um, I didn't read as much as I wanted to, but I'm on page 182 and there are how many pages in this book? <laughs> 385 pages, so I have about 200 pages of the book left, which is not too bad. I can definitely finish that today, but I kind of want to take a break from this book right now because even though I'm liking it, I just kind of want to read something else. I want a little bit of fantasy, so I think I'm going to pick up Smoke and Shadow Part 1, which is one of the Avatar The Last Airbender comics that I'm planning on reading. Maybe I'll go outside and read it so I can count it as the read a whole book outside challenge because I don't know from gonna go anywhere else this week. I might go to the beach later, but like this sunburn is really not motivating me to do that. So you know what? I might just go like set up a blanket outside and bring some food outside and read this while I'm outside. That sounds like a good plan. Let's go do that now. <laughs> Would you look at that? I'm outside, literally in my own backyard, but it's still outside. But yeah, I've got my food, I've got my books right here, and my little picnic set up. I don't know how well you can see that. So yeah, I'm just gonna sit out here and enjoy myself for a little while. When the lighting's good and you gotta get that selfie, but you hate taking selfies so you end up with like a million and you only like two. Struggles. <laughs> so I've been outdoors for a little while now. I ate all of my food. Um, I'm still reading. I'm still enjoying being out here. So I'm gonna, that's a lot of wind. Despite the wind, I'm still really enjoying being out here. So I'm gonna stay out here for a while more and continue reading. My hair like whipped me in the eye and now it feels real weird. <laughs> 
But yeah, I'm liking my time outdoors. It's really nice. I might do this every day. I think that would be good for me because I really don't go outside often enough and I probably should. So I'm gonna continue doing this every day, hopefully, if it's still sunny and nice out. But I was reading some more of Eliza and her monsters while I was eating and now I think I'm gonna move on to Smoke and Shadow part one because I really wanna read these comics. This is my little picnic blanket setup, by the way. All my food has been eaten. My books are scattered everywhere. I got my water bottle right there. And now the blanket's also covered in leaves because I'm sitting right under a tree. Probably not the best idea, but it's okay. I like the aesthetic. <laughs> Look at my love. Don't read what he's saying because it's spoilers, but I love him so much. Bo? Hey! Are you in a little nest? You got your own little nest on Nikki's bed? Yeah, you're, you're too distracted right now, but you're adorable. All right, so I came back inside because it was starting to get too windy, but I read some more of Eliza and Her Monsters and I read like halfway through um, the first Avatar comic. And now I'm gonna finish up the comic and then I'll probably read the second one right after that and then go back to Eliza and Her Monsters. My hair is also like very messy now from the wind, but I had a good time outside. It was really, really nice and really pretty. I got some nice pictures and I'm definitely going to do it again. I didn't complete a book outside, so I can't cross that challenge off yet. But like I said, I'll definitely be going outside again later this week and I'll finish an entire book this time. But for now, I need to charge my camera. I'm gonna import some of this footage and then get some more reading done. And hopefully I will cross off three books today, which will be very, very good. I have officially completed my first book. I finished Smoke and Shadow part one which was really really good. I gave this one four out of five stars and now I think I am going to start reading Smoke and Shadow part two because it left off on a cliffhanger and I really need more right now. So I'm probably gonna read that right now and once I finish it I will probably try and dive back into Eliza and her monsters because I think this is giving me the fantasy feels that I needed so I can go back to the contemporary. But I'm pretty satisfied so far with my reading and I also uploaded some of my vlog footage because I'm trying to edit this vlog throughout the day just so I'm not rushing to get it all edited like in the middle of the night so I can have it up the next day and so far so good it's been a pretty like good system and I've been able to get reading done in the middle of it so that's all great <laughs> but I still also have to do my challenge video for the day the book monster challenge which I'm gonna do when I get back into reading Eliza so once I finish smoke and shadow part two and I'm getting ready to do that challenge I will update you guys again all right, hello guys. So I am currently back to reading Eliza and her monsters and I decided that it's finally time for me to attempt today's video challenge. So the video challenge for today is the book monster challenge and basically Jesse challenged all of us to go through our books that we are currently reading and create our own monster out of these books. So basically what you have to do is you have 30 seconds to skim through your book and find words that you could use to name your monster. Then you have another 30 seconds to skim through the book and find words to describe your monster and then you have one minute to draw a picture of your monster that you've created from your book. So it sounds like a lot of fun and now I'm going to attempt it. For warning this is going to be terrible because I am not good at drawing um, especially when I have like a time constraint so you're probably gonna get some weird stick figure monster and it'll probably not even be scary looking at all because I can't draw anything. <laughs> but nonetheless I'm still excited to participate so let's get that timer going. Oh and I'm also currently reading a and her monsters so I think that this is like a perfect book for this challenge. I'm really happy that it happened to be today and I happen to be reading this one today so it's fate. Also Jesse recommended doing this challenge while sitting down but I'm not sitting down because I like an extra challenge so I'm gonna try doing it standing up. All right I have my notepad, I have a pen, and I have my book and now I'm going to get the stopwatch started so let's go. Oh no! <laughs> okay, 30 seconds. That's way quicker than I thought it was. I literally only got two words. 
Okay, now I have 30 seconds to find some words to describe my monster. You don't know? Okay, 30 seconds are over again. Again, I only got three words this time. One word better, but this is gonna be a wild monster, guys. Like, this is not a monster. You'd think in a book that has something to do with monsters, I'd find better monstrous words, but like, no, not really. <laughs> All right, now I only have one minute to draw my monster, which this is probably gonna be my least favorite part, because like I said, I can't draw anything. And we're starting now. <laughs> Okay, that's one minute. All right, so the monster that I came up with is Stranger Moon, and he is a crazy blue moon who has a lot of struggles, and I think that his struggles are that he has a hard time moving around because he's a giant ball, so he has to roll around everywhere, and he's not very menacing because he's a giant moon. <laughs> and he has bags under his eyes because he doesn't sleep because he's the moon. <laughs> but yeah, so that's what I came up with. This is Stranger Moon, the antagonist of my newest novel. <laughs> but despite my art struggles, that was still a really fun challenge and I had a good time doing this. <laughs> a shout out to Jesse for creating a great challenge. It was a lot of fun and I really enjoyed myself. But it is now time to go back to reading Eliza and Her Monsters, which I'm really, really excited to finish. And hopefully I do that soon and I will keep you guys updated. <laughs> okay, so I just finished reading Smoke and Shadow part two and that ending has me shook. I need the next one right now, but I don't have the next one, so I don't know what to do. I can probably just get it on ebook if they have them on ebook. I just checked and they do exist on ebook, and I'm very, very tempted right now. But anyway, I loved the second one. Again, another four out of five stars. It was really, really good. And that ending. That ending was so much. But now I'm gonna go back to reading Eliza and Her Monsters because I started reading that again and then I took a break to read this again. And yeah, I'm gonna go back to it and hopefully finish it up soon. But I'll update you guys with more of my reading progress once I get there as well as anything else that I end up doing today, which is probably just eating dinner and I don't really think you care that much. I got book mail. Look at it, look how beautiful it is. I've been wanting this ever since they announced these and I finally got mine in the mail. But I am currently sitting on my bed eating Ben and Jerry's half-baked ice cream because it's delicious and I was craving some ice cream. And I am going to start reading Eliza and Her Monsters again because I just finished eating dinner and now it's time to finally relax and get the rest of my reading done. So it is currently 7.30 and I was just reading Eliza and Her Monsters and I am on page 234. And I was just sobbing. <laughs> I was liking this book at the beginning, like it's been really interesting so far. It's very much like Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell in the sense that it's about a girl who writes fan fiction, but she doesn't write fan fiction. She has her own like web comic and she's kind of like famous on the internet, which is what Kath is like in Fangirl. So they're very similar to each other. And I was enjoying the story, but then I just got to a point where it just got real emotional. And now I'm kind of in love with this book. I just read this one chapter and it made me feel so many things. And now I know that like the book is definitely gonna pick up from here as well. But like, I just had to update because I'm so emotional right now. And this book is just so good. <laughs> I'm on chapter 27 right now. And like, I wanna keep reading, but I don't wanna keep reading because like, I'm feeling too much right now and like, ugh. It's just so good, guys. This book is really good. Ugh, okay, I know I have to go back to reading now because I'm gonna regret it if I don't read more. Like, I, I need to know how this book ends. And I will update you guys probably once I finish it because I have like around 150 pages left. <sighs> but I don't want this book to end. <laughs> Eliza and her monsters was so good. <laughs> it's currently like 10 p.m. or something and I just finished Eliza and her monsters and I haven't recovered because I loved it so much. I enjoyed the beginning of the book but it was kind of like a slower more basic start and then as the story picked up it just like became more and more relatable to my life and then it got to a point where like I was sobbing on every single page because like I related to so many aspects of Eliza's life 
and like her feelings and her dealing with her anxiety and I just it was so good. <laughs> I don't know what to do with myself now. <laughs> I have a whole stack of books right there that are waiting to be read but like I don't want to read anything else right now. I just want to cry over Eliza and her monsters. What I'm probably actually going to do though is edit the footage that I have from today's vlog because I got to get that up for tomorrow morning. I'm just, I'm not okay, but I am okay. And I just, I'm feeling so many things right now. <laughs> but this book, five out of five stars, highly recommend. It was incredible and I loved every single word. So I think this is where I'm going to end today's vlog just because I basically accomplished my reading plans that I had for the day and now, like I said, I'm just gonna go and edit and if I finish in time before midnight or before a reasonable time when I should go to sleep, I will maybe start reading again, but I don't really think I will tonight. I just don't wanna tire myself out with too much reading in one day and I think a whole book and two comics is a pretty good accomplishment for one day. But yeah, that is it for day one of the Booktubeathon. I had a fantastic time with reading today and just vlogging the entire experience as well. I'm really glad that I started off the week really strong with my reading and my vlogging game. I'm pretty proud of myself with that, but it's definitely motivating me to continue doing this throughout the entire week. So I'm really excited to keep reading and to continue vlogging and bringing you all with me throughout my day. And and I hope you all enjoy watching these videos. I'm super, super excited for Thursday because Thursday is when my video challenge goes up and I'm gonna be hosting some Twitter sprints on the booktube on Twitter as well. So look out for those on Thursday. I cannot wait for you guys to see it. I hope you all have had a fantastic start to your booktube as well. I hope that you're accomplishing all of your reading goals. And if you feel like you're falling behind, don't stress about it. As long as you are reading, you are winning the booktube and you're slaying. It's not a competition, it is just about having fun. And I promise you there are gonna be days this week where I read like maybe one chapter and that'll be it. But that is totally okay. Just read at your own pace and you are doing fantastic. But I'm really happy that this day went well in general. I have just not been having good days in life lately. They've been kind of stressful and I have just not been doing well in the mental health department. <laughs> but this day was not one of those days and it was a very happy one for me and I hope the rest of the week is the same. But that is it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed watching. If you'd like to follow me on any of my social media to get some more like instant live updates on what I'm doing during the Booktubeathon, all of my links to Twitter and Instagram and everything are in the description box as always. But thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you tomorrow for another Booktubeathon update. Bye!